Good morning. What's up? It's Monday morning. Um, eight weeks out. I'm eight weeks out. So I just went and got my blood work done. Um, the lady literally killed me. I've never ever had trouble with them, you know, like getting the blood out of my arm. And they just, the lady kept poking and poking. I don't think she knew what she was doing. And then she had to call in another lady and then they switched arms and then she's poking around. It freaking hurt. And usually I don't have a trouble with that. But now, since I had to be there early, I didn't get to do my fasted cardio. So I'm sitting in the gym parking lot eating my chicken and pickles and rice cake. And I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to do a little bit of cardio and train legs. And I've got to leave because I have a lot of patience today. It's 626. So I'm hoping I can at least get 30 minutes of cardio in, a leg workout, and then I have to run home, change, cook my breakfast, and head on the road. But yeah, that's what's up. So I took my check-ins this morning. I'm still 111.8. So I'm maintaining that weight right now. Uh, my check-ins look good. Uh, my glutes definitely need to be fuller. I'm just so lean right now. So I'm upping my carbs again today. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And that's that. Hey guys, what's up? So I just finished cooking some fish. This is fresh mahi from the Keys that we got. And then I just cooked some rice. I do the boil in the bag because it's easy. And for some reason I can't just cook rice in a pot. It always turns out really weird. Um, but today I just saw patients. I trained, did my cardio did cookie orders, and then I drove and met up with Janet to drop off all the cookies for the Battle of the Bodies show this weekend. So if you're competing there, you're gonna get to try Drizzle cookies, and hopefully you love them and you order cookies from me. But the cookie business has been going really good. I've been baking cookies like crazy lately, so thank you so much for everyone that's been supporting me. I really appreciate that. And yeah, you know, Prep's going good. I woke up this morning and dropped weight and yesterday I increased my, I actually increased my food this week. So I'm doing more carbs, more fat and I woke up and dropped weight. So I'm just gonna give it a, you know, I wanna stay at this, these macros for the rest of the week and then see where I'm at. If I have another drop in weight, I'm gonna do a refeed this weekend. Um, it'll be tracked and then I will up my food again next week. Um, so I'm excited. I'm seven and a half weeks out and uh everything's going well i'm thinking about possibly just doing that uh hurricane show in october because i'm just maintaining this so well and i'm increasing my food but you know it's just expensive and i really want to do the clash and the monster and to, to have all these shows it's just a lot of money for makeup tanning registration hotel you know um so we'll see we'll see what i end up doing but it's going good, it's going really good. Okay, so I just got this cool treat in the mail. The other day I was on Amazon, I just typed in pumpkin stuff because I was buying fall decorations. I was like, oh, I'll just see what kind of pumpkin things they have. I got a fall um, air freshener for my car, pumpkin spice, and today is the first day my hair smells like pumpkin spice right now from riding my car all day with it. It really smells like a cinnamon broom. It kind of reminds me more of Christmas than fall. Um, it was pretty strong. It really just made me hungry all day, honestly. But I found these pumpkin spice bites. So they're little rice cakes, mini rice cakes, okay? The macros are for 21 pieces or 21 grams, three fat, 15 carb, four sugars, one protein, 70 milligrams of sodium. Fall macros, let's see. Mm, they smell like pumpkin. Those are really good. Really good. 10 out of 10, I would get these. I would totally, oh, I have these. And it comes with two. Came with two packs, so. Bomb! You gotta try some Drizzlelicious. I like how it's called Drizzlelicious, kinda like Drizzle Cookies. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going out of town tomorrow. So I am making my breakfast now. That way everything's ready in the morning to go because I have to leave here. I have to leave here at seven and I gotta do an hour of cardio before I leave. I have to do an hour of cardio before I leave the house. 
So I'm cooking my egg whites that I eat with rice. Yes, I eat carbs for all the people that don't think I eat. Um, yeah, I'll get into that discussion another time. But anyways, I'm cooking my egg whites with rice, um, ground chicken, spinach, and peppers. And it's, you know, you want to eat it fresh, but I'm on prep and I, uh, I'm gonna leave here at seven in the morning. I'm meeting Joey to train uh, Optimum Gym and then I have my first body work session and then I'm leaving straight from there for, it's gonna be a five hour drive to go to my grandma's. Um, so I just packed up all my meals. I'll show you, I got them all prepped right here for the next for tomorrow while I'm gone and Saturday, I got my chicken, all my meals. And then I'm just taking a whole container of egg whites. Um, and then I got some of my other stuff, my supplements and like rice cakes in my bag over there to take with me. I'll bring my scale. Um, my grandma is going to be so upset. She always wants to cook for me and make all these. She makes the best food in the world. And every time she's like, why do you do this competing? She hates it because she wants to cook for me. But Nick will eat all the food she cooks. But, you know, a funny story. When I was 19, I moved in with my grandparents. Um, actually, when I was eight, I was 18. It was right after I turned 18. My mom, when I was 18, was like, all right, you, you can't live here anymore. You're 18. You got to get out. You got to get on your own. So I moved in with my grandparents and uh, yeah, I ate good. I gained 20 pounds. That was the heaviest I've ever been in my life when I was living with my grandparents. I mean, we, she would make like pies and every night we had ice cream with pies or cakes or something and she'd make the most amazing meals. Yeah, I was eating good, let me tell you. So then that's actually whenever I very first started dieting for the first time when I was 19, when I moved out of there, um, you know, I gained all this weight and my cousin started calling me chunky all the time. And that's when I met Nick and I weighed more than Nick. If you guys know Nick, you know, he's a little dude, but I weighed more than him. And it was just really embarrassing. So I started my very first diet. I did thousand calories a day diet. You know, that was the thing back then that wasn't, 2010, 2011. And uh, yeah, I ended up losing 25 pounds and I maintained it for a long, long time. And then all the way until we got married. And then I started eating like donuts on the weekends and stuff and yep. So now here I am. I just got on a tangent. Getting ready to go to my grandma's. I haven't seen her since February, so I'm super excited. I was supposed to go to Battle of the Bodies because you guys know that Drizzle Cookie Co. is sponsoring the show. I made cookies for all the athletes. I met up with Janet Tuesday to give her all the cookies. I really wanted to be there, but you know, my grandma called, said she hasn't been doing very well with her Parkinson's and she really wants me to be there this weekend. And then my family's having a big get together. I haven't seen my whole family in I haven't seen the rest of my family since like Christmas last year, even then, I don't even remember when to be honest with you. So super excited to see my family this weekend. I need that time. I need to see my family. So I'm getting everything together and yeah, tomorrow is going to be a busy day and then driving up there and it's going to be a good time, but we'll be back home Saturday night. We're only staying one night because we're busy. We're busy people. And so I'll be back home for my dinner on Saturday. So I'm just taking enough meals until dinner Saturday. But yep, so my breakfast is cooked. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna try and see if when I do the body work tomorrow, if I can set my phone up and film a little bit of it. Um, the guy seems pretty cool, so I think he'll let me. So we'll see, we'll see what he says. But I hope I can get some footage of that and then I'll film some of me and Joey's workout. So while I'm sitting here currently on a heating pad because my back hurts so bad, Nick just surprised me with this gun. Man, I hope this thing works. I need this so bad, hopefully it works.
here to get my body work done. Hopefully I can film a little bit, but look at this dope view. Okay, you guys, so I just got on my body work um, appointment and he said that, yeah, my basically my whole upper back over here and my rhomboids upper trap and the shoulder is completely messed up, which I already knew because I've been having so much pain. But he really worked in there and I'm gonna have to go to a few sessions to get it fixed and get it worked out. But man, he was really digging in there. I wanted to film some of it, but I didn't, I didn't ask. So maybe my next session, he's pretty cool. So I think he'll let me. So my next section, session, I'll do that. And then I did the red laser therapy afterwards. The red light felt so good. And you see that right there? I'm at the lights. Uh, yeah, I'm on prep. And I've been maintaining this lower weight um, for a while now. I'm still less than I was at Tampa. I'm 111.2 this whole week. And I've upped my food this week. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of delights. And I'm not worried about it. Typically, I wouldn't do this on prep, but I'm seven weeks out from the clash, uh, eight weeks, still eight weeks out from the monster. It's so long. And then I'm really considering doing the hurricane now just because I might just do the hurricane and the clash. I want to do the monster so bad, but I mean, this is tough. I mean, I'm in, I've been in prep for like 23, 24 weeks now. And, uh, you know, it's the excitement. I'm still excited and all, but the excitement's kind of like leveled out, like, you know, I've done two shows. I want to do these other two shows. And I've considered, honestly, just like ending my season. But I really want to... This might be my last year competing. So, it's like I really want to do it. So, if I do the hurricane, that's five weeks out. So, I mean, I can be on stage again in five weeks. That'll fly by. But to think about seven, eight more weeks, it's a long time. But right now, about to go enjoy me some delights. All right, I got my delights. Look at this thing. I got s'mores and Snickers flavor and I got a large, no shame. You know what? I need to put on a little bit of weight right now. So, mm. this is what's great about coaching yourself too. If I had a coach, they'd probably tell me I couldn't do this, but I've had delights so many times. It never makes me gain weight. So I'm not worried, I'm not worried at all. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And then I'm driving to North Florida to see my grandma this weekend. Okay, you guys, I'm headed to this place over in Wesley Chapel called Crates. And it's a bunch of like crates that are little shops, um, like, you know, food, kind of like food trucks, but they're in crates. So I met my friends, um, Urban Sweets at Dessert Wars last year, and they have a crate here and they've been asking me to stop by and I haven't had a chance. I've got a little bit of spare time right now before I meet Nick to drive up to North Florida. So I am coming now to crates to check it out. Stop so sign. these are the crates. This is actually really cool. I'm going to like walk all around here. I'm super excited for this, honestly. So turn left onto Goldview Parkway. Oh, look at this. The first one I see is, on is a right. sushi. Like how cool is this? It's all these different crates. Proceed to the route. There it is. There's Urban Sweets. So I found Urban Sweets. I'm about to go check it out. They were set up next to me at Dessert Wars and they were just the sweetest people and so much fun. So I'm about to go check it out. So this place is so cool. Like all these crates. I'd like to come back when I'm not on prep and actually try some things out. And they have a like stage up here too where they do live music it looks like. <laughs> all right, here's all the goodies. These were at Dessert Wars. We got all kinds of cookies and cupcakes. So cute. So we're about to hit the road and of course I got my chicken and I just stopped in Publix. Guess what, guess what it is. I'm sure you guys already know. Let me get it out of here. My pickles, chicken and pickles. This is my favorite one, the no sugar added bread and butter pickles. So I'm about to have my chicken and pickles. Yeah, and I got a tea from Starbucks. Now next with me. You are a chicken and pickles. I've been on the road all day. So I drove two hours to Tampa this morning. 
train to optimum. I'll put some video of my workout, have my body work done. Then drove two hours back to Nick's job site. Now I'm with Nick and we are driving three hours up to my grandma. So dang, that's seven hours of traveling today. But guess what? I'm at, I'm at 14,000 steps already because I did my hour and a half of cardio and I walked around a little bit. So yeah, I'm good to go. Good to go. Cheers. Okay, so we'll see how long this sets up here. I have my like tripod set up on the dash. Um, but yeah, so, you know, first of all, I gotta say my butt is killing me. When you're this lean, you know, sitting anywhere just hurts so bad. I'm like dying. I've been in the car for so many hours today and like my butt is hurting. I have to keep moving around. And like I, I do home health, so I drive all day, but I get out and see patients. Like this is just constant sitting, so it's killing me. But anyways, just talking to Nick and just been, this has been kind of going through my mind lately and figuring out my shows. I've decided I'm not going to do the Monster Classic. And you guys know that that was the main show I wanted to do this year because I had such a good experience that show in 2020. It meant so much to me. Um, but you know, the more I've been thinking this week is like, you can never have the same experience twice. And I feel like I put so much into that show thinking, oh my God, it's just going to be the same. But the reason I had such a great experience with that show was because I jumped into that show last minute on a Wednesday. I had done the clash the week before. It didn't go very well. And that show ended up going so well. And I just jumped in. They threw me into makeup, threw me into tanning. And I registered. We just drove up there not knowing if I could even register. I wasn't even registered yet. And I just peaked myself real quickly into that show. Um, so it was just, that's why it meant so much to me. And I keep telling myself, like, I'm not going to have that same experience this time because it's not the same circumstance. And, you know, you try to relive experiences that were great and it, it's never the same so I want to keep that memory what it was that's in the middle of nowhere I remember we couldn't even eat anywhere afterwards we went through Chick-fil-a and another at an exit and drove home there's like nothing to do it's in the middle of nowhere and everything closes so I don't know anyone doing the show and the show is not at the hotel it's like 15 minutes away so you can't just like hang out in your hotel and then go down the stairs like you have to go and just sit backstage for hours um, so I've decided I'm not going to do that show. And that just, that gives me, we're going to Mexico, um, December 1st to the 4th. And then we have Thanksgiving where we decided we booked a trip up to the mountains. We're going to see my dad and my grandpa. And then we're going to go to the Biltmore with the Christmas decorations up in North Carolina. So that we're doing, we're leaving Thanksgiving. So I want to give myself an extra week of reversing before I go on these trips. So I decided I'm making The Clash my last show this year and I'm going back for redemption. That's what I should be focused on anyways, is making The Clash a better experience. Um, and it wasn't The Clash show, it was just at the time. I wasn't lean enough, my tan got messed up, so it, it, was, it wasn't The Clash. I love Joe and The Clash shows, I go to all of them and watch them. So my plan right now is I'm gonna shoot for the Hurricane Pro, it's in five weeks. I mean, I'm still pretty lean, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna clean up my act, like no more, like I had delights today, I won't be having any more delights. Um, I've had, a, I've tried a couple of the cookies I made. Last week I went on a girls night with Karen, I had a drink and, you know, tried a couple of bites of things with her. So now it's like time to clean it up, no more bites of that. Um, I've been sticking to most of my meal plan. and. Uh, so yeah, five weeks out, I'm just going to push. I'm 111.2 pounds and I'm thinking I need to be around 108 on stage. So I'm just going to see where I'm at and probably at two weeks out from the hurricane, I'll see where I'm at. And if I'm ready, I'm just going to go ahead and register then. But the clash I'm for sure doing, that's seven weeks from now. That's plenty of time. So I've already booked the hotel for that show. I booked my makeup. I'm going to go ahead and register. And that is going to be my last show. And they moved it to by Disney this year. And so we can go to Disney Springs after and just have a good time. So that's my plan. I just have been kind of, it's been on my mind this whole week. And, you know, um, I'm ready to just be done too with the season. But I did want to do these last two more shows or at least the Clash because I pushed myself this whole year and this is going to be my last year competing for at least a couple years. So I really wanted to do more than just two shows. So that's the game plan. That's what I'm going with. And 
yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that. We're on the road. Um, we've got like, we're getting closer, aren't we? How much longer we got? Like 45, I think we got 45 more minutes. We're almost there. I haven't seen my grandma since February. She's super excited. I'm excited. Uh, my grandma has Parkinson's disease and it's getting worse, so she isn't doing well. Um, so I need to go see her and visit her. You know, you need to make time for your family. You know, being on prep and in this sport sometimes can be a little selfish because you're so focused on your prep and workouts and cardio. And when I come up here, there's no gym, there's nowhere to do cardio, cardio no treadmills. I just got to walk outside. Um, so I don't come up here when I'm in prep usually. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen my grandma since February. We're super close. She's always been a very close person to me. Um, so I'm going to come up here. I'm making a point to come see her. I making tomorrow my rest day. I already trained today. I already did all my cardio today. We're going back home tomorrow night. So tomorrow morning I'll just get up and go walk outside um, for my cardio. And I don't have to worry about training. But I'm excited to see her. And then we're going to go to my cousin's. And she's having a little get together. And I get to see more of my family. And I just found out my brother is going to be driving up and bringing his two boys, my nephew. So it's going to be a good family weekend. I'm super excited. I need that. Family means so much to me. It always just brings me back to just good feelings and it feels like home you know home is not a place it's people so if you haven't been seeing your family lately you need to make time for them that's all I got to say okay so I'm out here at our hunting camp my hair is a mess because this humidity is horrible but um we came out here to the hunting camp and we got this camper given to us and it is about to be a home makeover so it is really, really bad right now. I don't even want to show you guys in there. But it's bad. We're about to yank everything out of there and gut it out and redo it. I'm going to take before and after pictures. I mean, look how dirty this thing is. So we are about to get busy here. Hey guys, what's up? So it's Sunday. I'm just going to wrap up this week. I had planned on filming a lot more yesterday while we were out of town visiting family, but um, so Friday night, we Friday afternoon we got to my grandma's and uh, we woke up at 2 in the morning to EMS there. Uh, my grandma had to go to the emergency room. She ended up in ICU yesterday with her heart. She went into AFib. Um, so yeah, so we ended up not going to my uh, cousin's cookout to see the rest of the family and um, didn't get any sleep. We had went up there to Nick's hunting camp to work on a camper that we're remodeling. So we ended up doing that for a little bit. Um, and then we went to the hospital to see my grandma and everything. And then we drove three hours back home and it was just an exhausting trip. It didn't turn out like we wanted. Um, my grandma is better now. She got to go home today. Um, so she's stable, everything's good, she's back home, so if you guys pray, please say a prayer for her that everything is, she's going to just continue to be okay. Um, she has Parkinson's and she has heart disease, so you know, it's just a bad combo. Um, but yeah, so that wasn't exciting, and then today I went and trained shoulders. Um, I had the body work done Friday, oh my gosh, so he like scraped on my pecs right here where or right here where it's really really tight and then he did all back here and this still I can't even touch it it hurts so bad it's just really tender <laughs> it was killing me Friday night so I, I literally slept like maybe two hours Friday night and then it's still sore today I changed shoulders but you know what I was able to do a little bit more with the shoulder um it gave me a little bit more mobility actually um but I, I'm sore now um, because I do still have a shoulder injury, so, you know, I'm still going to be sore. But I'm going to start, I'm going to go back to him the week after, Friday after next. This week coming up is going to be crazy busy. I have a lot of patience. I'm launch, relaunching the fall cookies. Um, today, I worked on creating some new stuff for Drizzle, um, making cookie cups. So, you guys will be the first to hear. They're going to be Drizzle cookie cups. So, like, the bottom is going to be a Drizzle cookie stuffed with something and then topped with a different drizzle cookie or brownie. I tried some brownie today, but I overfilled it. And so I couldn't get the cups out and they all like kind of got broken into pieces. So Nick is going to get to enjoy those. And I'm going to try again uh, later this week if I even have time. Um, but uh, yeah, so this morning I woke up 
less than my stage weight. I 110.2 now. My last stage weight was 110.4. And you guys, like I'm doing less cardio. I'm eating more food. So it's just really cool um, that I'm able to maintain this. I wish I had the shows I want to do were sooner. I'm going to do the Hurricane Pro now. It's in five weeks. And then the Clash, I decided I'm not doing the Monster Show. Um, but yeah, I mean... It's to, to, to maintain this for five more weeks just kind of sucks, but there's not really any other show. There's one next weekend, but I, I'm just too busy with the cookie launch and all to do a show next weekend. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. And um, I got my blood work back. I had my blood work checked this week and um, my progesterone was a little low, which I know it's because I haven't had a period in a couple of months now. So that's that's common for your progesterone to drop when you're not having a cycle. Um, but you know, I'm not too worried about it. it. wasn't extremely low and I'm feeling okay. It's gonna, I know once I'm get like less lean, once I start gaining weight again in my off season, everything will be back to normal. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And you know, I'm getting a lot of people messaging me on or commenting on my Instagram pictures saying that I need help and I look like I have an eating disorder and I must have an eating disorder. And you guys heard me already talk about all the hate I got in my anonymous questions last week about how I don't eat enough carbs. Well, let me tell you, I'm eating a lot more than I was about four or five weeks ago, five weeks ago, you know, and I'm competing, you know, like you got to go to extremes sometimes competing. Like it's a sport, you know, it's like sports are hard on your body. It's like, I'm, I know you you know this signing up for it. I'm not a lifestyle client. I'm not a lifestyle dieter, you know, like I am doing an extreme sport. So I'm pushing my body to the extremes and I knew that's so going into it. I know what I have to deal with. I know what I got to do to get my body back after all this and it's my choice. Um I do not have an eating disorder. I do not have any problem with food. I don't I mean, I love my meals I eat every day. And like someone was making fun of my chicken and pickle and rice cake. I freaking love that. And honestly, when I'm in off season, I'm still going to eat that. Like I love it. It tastes so good to me. And so, you know what? People are always going to hate. People are always going to have things to say and be judgmental. And that's okay. You know, I put myself out there. So it's bring it on. You know, it doesn't really bother me at the end of the day. It doesn't change my mood. It doesn't make me upset. It is what it is. I really don't care because it doesn't personally affect me. Um, I'm doing this for me and I'm extremely happy with how things have been going. My body's responding well. I'm reversing great. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so this coming week's going to be a busy week with a lot of stuff going on and I'll try to film some more stuff and thank you guys for following my journey and watching my YouTube. I appreciate everyone's support.